Hi, I'm Kjetil from uh, Solo. I'm here um, packaging the protagonist. Now, what is the protagonist? The protagonist is the continuation of the Dark Horizon concept, which I started with Nergna in 2006. Uh, there's been five Dark Horizons, three Red Horizons, and now since I don't work for Nergna anymore, I have Solo, we have made the protagonist. The protagonist is the first beer in, well, I say, no, of course it's not the first beer. It's number eight or nine or something in the series, but it's the first time we use this name. Next time it'll be a protagonist too. It's a lot of work uh, packaging this beer. And um, why? Well, it's a beer we make only once. It's a beer limited production, 6,000 bottles. All the bottles are numbered and uh, they're packaged in this uh, cardboard box. And what is this beer? Well, it's dark. It's the darkest, sweetest and strongest beer on a Greek label ever. So, uh, why have we brewed this this way? Well, I love coffee and Greeks have some special coffee. It's actually very often served sweet and this is like the sweet Greek coffee. This is uh, a tribute to that. Um, let's open it. Let's see what this is. So, um, this is the packaging. It's signed by me, all the, all the bottles and uh, all the boxes rather. And there's a number which indicates the number of the label inside. I'm sure you all understand that this is a lot of work and if you want to know why I do it, well, because this is a special beer. And I think craft beer is about communication. Craft beer is about reaching out with a message. So this is a beer we have brewed with a lot of extra focus and um, a lot of extra uh, creativity and, uh, and uh, you know, making it special. And it should be special in all ways, also the packaging. So let's open this. We start by cutting the, the label, which locks the lid in place, as you can see. It's all cardboard, biodegradable, uh, hopefully not too bad for the environment. We stabilize the bottle inside with this uh, wood. I, in Norwegian we call it wood wool. I don't know if it's the correct word. And that's why it's so messy here on uh, here I'm working. So this is the bottle. The, the reason why I brought up this bottle is that this one has a bad label. It's never going to be sold. So I thought we can, we can open that and drink it here. St stupid, isn't it? I always forget to bring an opener, and here we are in a brewery and we have no opener. It's uh, ridiculous. So we use a knife, that's okay. So when you um, drink a, a coffee, you of course you don't drink a pint of coffee, especially not if it's sweet or if it's strong. So for this beer, as we recommend on the label, share it with at least four more people. So my preferred serving is like this. This is the perfect serving. This is the perfect uh, uh, size uh, of this beer. It's 15% strong. Uh, it is really um, quite, um, quite uh, overwhelming and uh, powerful. So this is my recommendation. So we have 6,000 bottles. I hope uh, it reaches out to all the people who are keen on drinking special beers. And uh, yeah, we really like this. Uh, we're proud of it. It's made for aging. Uh, if you get a bottle, get two, age one, see how it, how it matures. Cheers.